mentioned that height difference in terms of leg length. Just one centimetre separating them. And as you can guess, the taller of the two is the athlete in blue. Julie Jun trying to fake good push to the body from Kudashova. Plenty of aggression from the smaller athlete in red. I think uh, it's potentially gamging them for a, a leg lift. Um, but yeah, the Russian athletes, I think they're very, very smart as a nation and they, they're really good with their blocking. So I think they, um, they emphasize a lot on not conceding as well as scoring. Um, and I know she's very good in the clinch. China though, very, very composed. Yeah, as you say, there's a little flick up to the face from Kudashova, lands nicely. Great headshot, um, adjusted the distance, scored the headshot. Three points on the board, uh, not a bad start for the first 30 seconds of the round. And even better, lands another two on the board. The shouts of Chungguk Jaiyo, the Chinese team trying to get their team to fight, to go for it. And Julie Jun obliges, coming forward, leaves a gap though. And Kudashova, well, you mentioned the ability to stay focused despite the initial delay. She started well here, Damon. Yeah, could have shown us managing the distance well. She's she's being smart, and then when the Chinese athlete um, opens up a bit, she's she's picking her off. And just like I said, the uh, strength in the clinch. Then she scored a back leg, so she's just very just fighting very very smart. Yeah, Shirley Jun is, um, she's trying to force the fight. She's trying to get momentum, but um, Kudashova is just clashing. She's, she's strong, she's got good balance. She's got a, a high chamber and it's just hard. It's hard. There we go, headshot from China. Nearly another headshot and a Gamjin, that's 7-4. Yeah, as you say, turning the tables, get a bit of momentum now, Julie Jun, as we move towards the closing stages of a really good first round. 11 points shared so far, the lion's share of them to the redoubtable Russian started fast at Kudashova. But it's been a good response as Julie Jun seals it nicely there with one right on the buzzer. Yeah, I was literally about to say that, John. I was going to say what what um, China needs to do is she needs to uh, she needs to go with the front leg. Kudashova better level. Do you mean head to head, arm to arm? So clashing, you'll, you'll see. Uh, it's when someone almost uses their arm and their leg as a, uh, a wall, let's say. So look, there we go. It's a clash. And then she flicked off. So a clashing is it's a defensive motion and you can also turn it into a scoring option. Well, it was a clash and a smash straight to the face there. Good stuff from Kudashova. Good response. Going to make it into the finals. This one, the first of two in the 57s. And as you can see, Julie Jun. One point down, has fought back into it. Kudashova holding the centre. She's very dynamic, takes a slip though. Yeah, great attempt from Kudashova. It's really, really good um, reach with that headshot, but because she committed so much, she ended up falling over. Um, but so yeah, Kudashova was falling over. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That was good. terrible. <laughs> you're, um, you're full of them, John. Yeah, I'm full of something. But anyway, full of energy, both seven all. Couple of gam Johns to Kudashova. Yeah, so. Um, I think it's been a really good fight, to be honest. Uh, Kudashova started the round with a, a really good lead um, and then shows just just persisted, really. So I think she needs to keep doing what she's doing. But then as Kudashova clashes and tries to spoil, she needs to go again. Well, they both clash and get into the clinch there. What a perfect arena in which to fight. Small and intimate is the venue, but perfect conditions, good temperature. And the athlete's not struggling for breath here in this one. Half a minute, or indeed halfway through the second, a minute to go. Does the temperature make a difference when you're fighting? Yeah, uh, to be fair, this, this arena is slightly warm, but I've been to competitions. Uh, the one that sticks into my mind was um, uh, Abidjan, the Ivory Coast. Oh. It was it was really, really tough conditions to fight in, especially with, with um, people that, that sweat a lot and you can get dehydrated very fast. Are you talking about me in the commentary box? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apologies for that, but no apology there for Kudashova. Places one on the protector. Takes a two-point lead with half a minute to go in a really good second round. She had it all her own way in the first round. Julie Jun fought back in the closing stages. And in the dying embers of this one, two points separate them. Yeah, so... Um, Kudashova is just, again, it's, it's, a, it's a tight fight. It's interesting in Taekwondo because when she went up at the start, 
China was forced out of a comfort zone to, to get the points back. Um, then when they got tied, the, it, the pace slowed down. So it's almost like they're chopping and changing and, and when other people can see it. Um, but now me sitting here, I have no emotional connection. Sure. Um, I can see it for, for, for how it is and I can see different options. Uh, but sometimes when you're caught up, you can uh, you can get blinded by certain things, and you can um, you can not open your horizons or your the way you think about things. And yeah, it's it's interesting seeing it from this perspective. Well, it's certainly interesting listening to the expert analysis. Damon Sands ruling the roost at the moment. Could have showed it. two points to the good. There's potentially two minutes left in this one. Nice little flick to the face attempted from Julie June. A change of strategy. Yeah, so um, Zhu now you can you can see she's she's trying to force it more. Um, it, it can obviously work into a favour when she follows, but at the same time y you can you can open up and you can you can take more risks and it's a risk reward and that, that that's the sport to be honest. As you say, the risk reward, but huge reward for that headshot and a twisting kick to the body that you could hear halfway down the street, but it never scored. Yeah, that was a great uh, great great combination. Crescent kick into twist. But yeah, the, the, the system, sometimes you can hit it so hard and the whole stadium can hear, you don't get a point. Sometimes someone can just flick you and get a point. So it's it's interesting. Great uh, great clinch work from Kudashova then. She's really, really good in the clinch. And again, clinch body, just nice and tight. China's trying to, f she's doing all the hard work and she's just waiting for the option and scoring. Well, the scores on the board tell a story. 16-9 to Kudashova. The drama mounting. Julie Jun incumbent upon her to come forward. Headshot from the Chinese fighter. Just missing. Time ticking. Kudashova going limp in the clinch. Gives one away. Kudashova, yeah, looking a little bit tired towards the end. Um, uh, Show is working the clinch also because she needs to get past her, her clash and she knows she needs to work the short distance. But they're both kicked at the same time and Russia scored and China didn't in the 18-11 uh, now. Well, the scores on the board, as you say, the seven-point gap, Kudashova trying to get a break from the referee to fix her arm guard, but she has to be on guard as Julie Jun fires another one to the body. Five-point game now. Yeah, this is, this is when it gets exciting for me. Um, Sho is, is, is in it. She's in the fight, Kudashova. She needs to just be smart and increase her lead. 15-18. As you say, three points of a gap now. Last ten seconds in this one. Kudashova working forward. She's on the defensive now. The athlete in red. Zhang finds one underneath. Pops another one on the board. The Chinese fighter was down all the way through. Is she going to make it into the final? Kudashova needs a punch. The judges didn't like it. The clock tells a story. Four seconds to go. One point of a difference. The defensive work from Julie Jun on the way through. And she's oh. on her way through to the final. She was down and out all the way through there, Damon Sampson. But she finds the way to win. Yeah, this, that's just just persistence for me. Um, what happened there was show was she was trying to use her front leg. Kudashova was was clashing, and it, it was, she was finding it hard to find. Clear. Yeah, I believe I believe so. She's she's she looked good then. She went down very very early and just showed great um, great fitness. This is when that twist kick, boom, beautiful. Uh, she showed great great cardio, and she showed uh, good variation as well. So. Yeah, great contender for, for a gold medal today, in my opinion. A real contender for gold is bronze for Kudashova. Her race is won and done, but it's Julie Jun into the final.